Good morning, this is Bill from the Auto House of Naples and today I've got something amazing. Uh, let's start with the 2013 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited uh, and then let's add about $60,000, $70,000 worth of uh, adventure equipment uh, professionally installed and, uh, and there it is. Uh, just look at this vehicle, it is amazing. Uh, you know, I'll start going over some of the stuff it has, but uh, I couldn't even begin to get there. There'll be a detailed list of equipment uh, up on the website where you can see uh, all the special touches this vehicle has. Uh, it's got a two and a half inch lift. Uh, it's got special wheels and tires. Uh, it's got uh, awnings. Those are up there. You can see the silver aluminum casing that they they rest inside. And when they come out, there's even a uh, a system that can seal off the walls of them to make it kind of a giant tent. Uh, there'll also be some pictures of those deployed on the website. Couldn't even begin to, to start fooling with that here now. Uh, you can see that hard top is uh, uh, very, very special. It is a camper top, so that pops up much like the old Westphalia camper vans and uh, can sleep two or more people in there uh, with windows and screens. Uh, of course, it has a, a rack on top for your canoe or kayak or John boat or you know just about anything you want to put up there and just look at the detail work the finishing on this it's been so professionally done uh, that is a custom front bumper it's been professionally shortened uh, you know to give better angle of attack on the tires uh, of course big integrated driving lights there uh, has a uh, heavy-duty winch uh, in there as well um, uh, under belly uh, pans, uh, you can see the suspension, and you can also see that it really hasn't been used that much. Uh, the gentleman had bought it with intent of moving to uh, Colorado where he was going to put it to use and uh, just uh, got a job opportunity here so he didn't go, doesn't like camping in Florida as much as he does in Colorado, so uh, he's putting this up for sale pretty soon after completing it. Uh, his loss can be your gain. Uh, this is a special uh, water tank in the bumper. Uh, you can see that's the cap there, the way it's been integrated. Uh, it has a drain on it and a pump, so you can pump fresh water from there. Uh, this behind the uh, spare tire uh, is a 10-gallon uh, fuel tank. Uh, here's the uh, reverse, or sorry, third brake light there, specially mounted. Uh, those are AEV rims, uh, American Adventure, or sorry, uh, there I'm losing my, my brain. Anyway, uh, very high dollar rim, very very nice piece uh, Gibson exhaust uh, you can see here it's got a uh, uh, set of tools you've got a shovel uh, you've got a uh, big uh, off-road jack when you need it it also has a um, uh, anchor system so if you run into problems there's no trees around you can anchor to the ground itself and use the winch to pull yourself free uh, it's got a ham radio that's the antenna for that Goes up pretty tall. Could also be twisted off, of course, when clearance is an issue. Uh, you can see the metal running boards there. Uh, there's a very nice uh, AEV snorkel set up on this. Uh, and again, it's just an incredible, incredible vehicle. Uh, it has a dual battery setup under the hood. Uh, very, very custom done. Also has a locking mechanism. This is going to be a little hard to do with one hand and a phone, but we'll give it a shot. Set the phone down for a minute here. All right, uh, there is the uh, custom uh, dual battery setup. Uh, was originally intended for smaller batteries. He wanted the big one, so he had it modified for that. Uh, it's of course the new motor for 13, 3.6 liter, very powerful, very torquey. Uh, again, this is an incredible machine, just an absolutely amazing machine, and you can see how clean it is. Uh, you'd think a machine like this would have, been, uh, would have been used by now and a little bit brutalized. Well, he never had the opportunity, so uh, you'll be getting something that uh, is pretty much ready for its virgin usage. You can see that the hood itself is a, uh, is a custom hood. Of course, designed to fit the snorkel setup. Uh, roll bar around the uh, front glass with uh, five uh, worn uh, high-intensity spotlights. Also, of course, the two up front. 
And let me start showing you inside. Uh, beautiful, rich, warm leather. God, you gotta love it. Uh, when you're tired of the trail, you can get in and pamper yourself with that. Uh, it's got power windows, power locks, uh, remote start, keyless entry, uh, leather steering wheel, navigation. Uh, of course, the equipment in the back necessitates uh, the rear view mirror actually being a camera, which has been nicely integrated. Uh, and again, only 10,000 miles uh, up here. Uh, a little bit dark in here with the tent, but you can see it's got the ham radio. It's got a mount for an iPod mini. If you need some uh, mapping, you can use your iPod mini for that. Uh, there is the uh, factory Jeep uh, Sirius navigation radio. Uh, you've got heated seats, again, very nice. There's your um, transfer control for going two or four wheel drive. Uh, a nicely integrated group of switches controlling all variety of instruments. Uh, your switch is nicely integrated here for the lamps. It's got the, uh, the handle, so on and so forth. This is just so stunning and so well equipped. Here in the back, I got my little bag there, but you can see, continuing the leather seating. Uh, stunning roll bar set up there. Uh, there's a little, yeah, there's that red tag there. You pull that and uh, undo the latches on the outside. That releases the camper top, which then pops up and uh, gives you a place to sleep. Uh, here in the back, you can see it's got a mounted propane tank. Let me show you this, because this is pretty darn neat here. That's a better view of the 10-gallon uh, pony tank there on the uh, spare tire. All right, up top is a nice place to store your gear. All variety of stuff can go there. These are new replacement awnings. Uh, the guy wanted to have those in case uh, one had a mishap on the road. Uh, wheel chocks, uh, pump for the water, so on and so forth. All kinds of stuff up there, really nice setup. Uh, down here, you've got your propane grill. A little bit of storage for light in it. This is a stainless steel uh, South African made refrigerator. Uh, you can get your equipment in there. Again, uh, equipment, your sandwiches and drinks. Very, very nice, all uh, extremely well controlled. Uh, again, just incredible setup, and the way it slides out is just awesome. Uh, here you've got a power inverter for uh, home uh, 110. Uh, you've got ham radio controls, you've got your uh, 12 volt outlets. Uh, again, just an incredible Jeep. Here, here's a couple of, uh, you could call them gun safes, equipment safes, uh, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, open them up, you get, get, you know, whatever items you want to keep safe. I've got my snap them in there for later. But uh, of course those are intended as uh, gun safes. And uh, just again, how amazing. What a beautifully finished, well-detailed, professionally put together uh, vehicle this is. Uh, this guy spared absolutely no expense. I mean, I've only begun to, to show you what's on this Jeep. Um, there's, uh, there's so much that's uh, integrated into it that you haven't seen. Uh, that's just absolutely incredible. Uh, there's the drain for the, uh, the water tank in the back if you want to keep your fresh water fresh. Uh, this is uh, a remote um, air pump to uh, pump up the tires if you've gone off-road and you want to decrease the pressure. Well, you can use that to pump them back up. Uh, here is my equipment list. That was my cheat sheet for today. I didn't even get uh, near through it, but this is the investment. Every line on this is another item bought and paid for uh, to the tune of an incredible amount of money. So I'll have that up on the uh, website so you can see that in detail. Uh, and uh, there it is. I mean, what an incredible, incredible piece. Uh, if you're into camping in a serious, serious way, well, I mean, here you go. You're just simply not going to find anything cooler than that to do it with. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing vehicle. Uh, you really uh, turn heads as you're going down the road like you wouldn't believe. So uh, let's go for a spin so you can see it drive. Boy, did I have fun with this, let me tell you. And of course, being a 2013 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon, it's very civilized. Uh, it fires right up. No issues of any kind. Ice cold air conditioning. Uh, there is your uh, rear view camera. Uh, here's your mic for the ham radio. 
uh, up here is your ham radio itself. Uh, that also has a secret CB function. <clears throat> uh, and uh, again, just uh, just an incredible piece. And being uh, the new engine for 13, it's got tons of power, plenty to move this, uh, this big truck down the road uh, in a more than adequate manner. Uh, one thing that I really like about this that I found from uh, driving at home today is the uh, wheels and tires are very, very smooth. Uh, I was up um, on the interstate 75, 80 miles an hour. Uh, it wasn't wandering. It wasn't too noisy. It was just uh, an extremely nice cruising vehicle. And that was important to the fellow who put it together. He said, you know, I'm going to be trekking a lot of distances on the highway to get where I'm going. I don't want that to be a miserable ride. And he certainly accomplished that goal. Uh, this car goes down, car, Jeep goes down the road uh, a lot better than it has any right to. It feels smooth, nice, and wonderful. Uh, turning radius, of course, terrific in a Jeep. Uh, just again, you can drive it around very, very civilized. You know, having a nice leisurely Sunday cruise here. Uh, you know, it uh, it just feels like uh, like any Jeep going down the road. But of course, when you get to your destination. Uh, boy, can you set up the ultimate camping trip. Uh, so anyway, there it is. I'm not going off-road this morning. Uh, <laughs> the Jeep hasn't gone off-road much, so I'm not going to be the first guy to start doing it. We're not going to test the snorkel by going through waist-high water or anything. Um, uh, you know, you can do all that uh, if you decide this is something you have to own. And frankly, if I had a few extra bucks in the bank, God, I'd love to put this in the fleet. Let me tell you, what a great piece to have. Uh, and God knows if there's ever an apocalypse, holy cow, are you going to be uh, the guy with the, the setup. You can, you can put all the fuel in there you need, run off into the wilderness, and, uh, and live off the land for as long as you need to. At least till the zombies are all taken care of. So um, here it is. Uh, if you have an interest in this incredible machine, give us a call. Number is 239-273-1150 uh, on the web at autohousenaples.com. And I highly recommend you go check out the website for this car. Uh, again, car, Jeep. Uh, you'll see some extra photos of stuff I couldn't show you this morning. You'll see an equipment list and you'll uh, get a fuller picture of the incredible investment that's been uh, undertaken to make this Jeep what it is. So uh, thanks for having a look today and uh, we hope to see you soon. Take care.